can be challenging for survivors living in a domestic abuse shelter, even more challenging with children. A program in Bowling Green is connecting domestic and sexual violence survivors with gifts. 13 Action News reporter J.D. Pooley has a story, all new at 7. The Holiday Assistance Program exists so domestic violence survivors and their families can enjoy the holiday season, and now they are asking for your help. The Cocoon, Wood County's only domestic and sexual violence center and emergency shelter, works with survivors of interpersonal violence. To assist them on their journey to find healing, safety, and justice wherever they are in that spectrum. So if someone had their violence inflicted last night or 10 years ago, we're able to support them um, and help them along the way. Last year alone, the shelter supported around 800 individuals. Kids are definitely present. Um, it is um, definitely a way for them to continue to find safety here um, with their parent or guardian. With the children at the shelter, the Cocoon's Holiday Assistance Program was formed to ensure that survivors and their families can experience some joy of the holidays during a season that can be incredibly challenging. We are able to work with our advocates to collect wish list items from survivors and their families um, that they would like this holiday season. The shelter will partner with donors and sponsors in the community so children and families in the shelter can have gifts during the holiday season. For survivors that are here in our shelter, um, it's definitely very different than being at home. We have communal living. There are oftentimes multiple families here at once and um, definitely doesn't always feel like home, but we really try to do our best to create that atmosphere for them to, you know, really feel the holiday joy and to feel safe here um, during that challenging, you know, time of their life and just the season. If you would like to participate in the Holiday Assistance Program, visit a link at 13abc.com. In Bowling Green, J.D. Pooley, 13 Action News.